I do not want to stay in. I don't want to stay in because I want like my own personal family eventually. So I just want to make myself a priority in my mental health. And I just know me and I don't think I would want to continue or re-enlist. But let me tell y'all why I do not want to stay in. So firstly, okay, so what's up everybody? It's your girl, Kiara. <laughs> I keep wanting to say it's your girl, Wealthy Kiara, Kiara Lima, because that was my prior name, but I just changed my name to Kiara, or I'll just say Kiara Alima. Um, but yeah, in today's video, I am going to, as you've seen in this title, I am going to be talking to you guys about why I joined the military specifically and the reason, the reason why I will not be staying in. This is just my own pers personal preference. Um, so I tell people this all the time that's close to me, like I just plan on doing my contract and then that's it. Like I don't, you know, like I kind of want my civilian life back. I don't really and you know what i'm saying but before we get into the video please like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment and yeah i hope this video can help someone maybe i don't know um but yeah and also like i don't have my lashes on today i'm gonna probably um either get my lashes on or do it myself um eventually probably sometime this month but i just haven't had time and yeah but i think i look I think I look good without my little lashes, honestly. But okay, so let's get into the video. So reason why I joined. So if you've been following my other videos, like the reason why I joined the military or the Air Force Reserve specifically is it was really just the main reason was because I wanted to go back to school and I, you know, I kind of knew that they helped or paid for schooling. Um, so that was my number one because tuition assistance and then the GI Bill, that was something that I was super interested in. Like they pay for your school. That's why I joined. Um, another reason was just like, you know, I can name the, <clears throat> a list of all of the amazing benefits, but really just school and because I am getting older, you know, I'm 24, I'll probably, I'll be 26. In a couple of years when you're 26 you get off of your parents health insurance so definitely for the good health insurance TRICARE um I think I want to do a video on that, like how to sign it up because a major just um the other day he taught me how to sign up for I think they teach you how to do that and be up to your tech school but honestly all of that was a blur like if you ask me or anybody they that that I know or like tech school and BMT is such a blur because it was so it, it was such a long time ago like I'm not going to remember details on how to do this and that you know um but I was just taught how to sign up for TRICARE and receive health benefits so I'm thinking about like doing that probably towards the end of this year by next year um and yeah because it's way better than most health insurance out here. My parents, they have Blue Cross Blue Shield. That's a good health insurance, but TRICARE is obviously, obviously it's the best. Um, so yeah. So really just for that, just for stability and security. And that's what most people join for. For Those are the most common for people to get out of like whatever situation they have back at home, like whether it was toxic or you know, they lived in poverty or, you know, just getting getting away from a bad situation and having the military take care of them. I would say those are like big reasons why. And I can agree to some of them, but my main focus, my main drive was school. Um, but a lot of the other ones like stability, security, health insurance, um, those definitely, you know, caught my eye as well. So that's why I joined, um, but let me tell y'all why I do not want to stay in. So firstly, I have a six year contract and normally six year contracts in the reserves, like you're going to be in for an extra two years. Like you're going to be, I think it's called IMA. You're going to be um, 
a person that's not like you're done with your contract and you won't have to come in for the UTA weekends or whatever, like the drill weekends. But if they need you, like they still can call you within those two years. So I'm really going to be in for eight years, but my contract is for six years. I'm already done with one year. Um, so I have five more years to go, technically speaking. And, you know, mind you, like I'm in my mid twenties, like by the time I get out, I'm going to be like 30, 31. And I don't know like if I would want to, I don't think I would want to still be in the military um, at that age, honestly, because it's just not, being in the military is not me. Like the only way that I would stay in is if I'm like a, a medical job open to, to where I can translate it into the civilian world, like becoming a doctor or something. But if it's anything other than that, like, I'm not saying it. I don't really care. Like, I'm going to do my six years and then that's it. Like, I'm out. But, yeah, that's the reason. Just, like, me being a little bit older. I can see if I came in at 18, you know, which a lot of people do. Um, I came in at, like, not an old age, but, like, you know, I came in as a full-grown adult, like, 23. <laughs> so, that is kind of, you know, that's pushing 25. Like, I'm pushing 25. So, it's just, like... I don't, I just know me and I don't think I would want to continue or re-enlist at that time frame. I'm going to be somewhere out of the country on an island relaxing, <laughs> you know, not, in, you know, like not stressing and worry about higher ranks and like, you know, your uniform, you know, I just want to live life, be me, be free. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Just like my age and like how I want my lifestyle around that time. Like I'm not going to want to say in. Um, another reason is that I'm going to probably be in my career. I'll probably already be settled into a career by then. And I would probably only want to put my focus on that. Like I probably won't really have much time for the military, even reserves. Um, so that's another thing I do, you know, like I have, I want like my own personal family eventually. So that's another thing, like, you know, you can't really be pregnant in the military. So it's just like, I definitely would want to start a family around that time. Um, you know, just thinking, just looking and thinking ahead, like, five years from now or you know when I finish my contract like I'm going to want to yeah like I'm gonna want to have my own little cute little family you know so that's another thing and what's another reason why I do not want to stay in I don't want to stay in because Honestly, like, I'm going to be real with y'all, like, really transparent, just like my other video. Like, I know as you get older, like, you grow and you get stronger. Like, it, life never gets easy. You just get stronger. Life gets harder as much as you grow. Money helps or whatever, but life gets harder. Life can throw you anything and mental health to me is like extremely important and the military does not <clears throat> i don't want to say it like intentionally you know like it doesn't like it's a big stress on my mental health but it is definitely a stressor it's like a huge stressor that i don't want to deal with five years from now like you know like i don't i'm gonna already be so stressed out with other stuff I'm sure so it's just like why would I you know continue to go through a stressful um career field when I'm already probably in one in the civilian world I'm trying to start a family you know maybe I'll be married or whatever you know what I'm saying so it's just like I don't I just I don't really know you know like I just don't I just don't know and I just kind of want my, I just want to make myself a priority in my mental health and my health in general a priority because that's super important um, as you age. So that's what I'll say. I will say that. Um, 